when we search for our six packs, cool drink, I said, I am not Jerry. Lester took them everything. What are we going to drink now? That was TV. That was TV. And I want to say thank you, Mama. That you, your heart was always open. That we can come then to your house and eat there and sleep there. I know we lost a friend, a brother, a father, a priest. What God's done is done. Thank you. Thank you to Jerome Jordan uh, from Klein School. Now we are going to call upon a uh, father, Joshua Siang, uh, who was a friend to Tando, who was also a classmate to Tando from seminary. Father Joshua Siang, please come forward. Um, I don't know why they chose me to speak today uh, because Tando is one of the uh, is a friend who is a friend of everyone and who embraced everyone who loved everyone I froze because this guy, for the first time he sees me, he calls me a uh, bed bug. But anyway, he explained why. He said to him, Bungulu feels so close that if he calls him Bungulu, you are the closest person he could ever uh, 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 enjoy. And then I said, okay, it's fine, I can accept that. But then I got jealous because everybody was Mbungulu for him. Uh, it was not only me, and he was, everyone who says hello Mbungulu, there was a about Tando. But what, what I want to reassure his mother and family, and also his brother priests, is that he loved them very much. He loved them to the end. Um, Tando would come to the seminary and make noise. Wherever he was, he will, he will try to make everybody happy. He will shout from the corridor, 
uh, shouting somebody who was the, on the other side and not feel guilty about it. And we will always make mention that life is too short. It needs to be lived to the full. And for that, I always thank him because it was when um, myself, I had difficulties in my priesthood. The man saved my priesthood. Uh, but, but that's a story for another day. I want to tell you that in the whole seminary, Tando never used to like to speak Sisutu. He says, I'm going to teach those people how to speak English. And every time they spoke in Sisutu, he, spoke, he responded in English purposely. And at the end of the day, everyone who saw Tando spoke to him in English. And we, took, we called him the English uh, man of the seminar. Anyway, uh, he adored his friends. Uh, he had also a guy called Victor Malike, uh, um, who is a priest also from Lesotho. He liked very much. And everything he did, he did with this guy. And um, the guy has a, had one vice. He was never drinking. So Tando always found out that, okay, he's a friend of mine, but he doesn't drink. Um, I'll pick another one. So he picked me. So, <clears throat> uh, when he picked me every Friday, we knew in the seminary after lunch we have to disappear. Um, he, will see, he will come to me even if we don't have money. You know when, we, when Jesus says, buy corn without money, uh, I think we believed in that. We will go to our destination, Hamaskau, and um, we look at this mama who would say, hey, Bandobam, how many do you want today? <laughs> Uh, to close, I see that the, the priest is intimidating me now. But anyway, what I want to say about Tando is that we must remember him as he was. Don't make anything of, uh, you know, don't mix. Tando liked people. He was a unifier. He unified everyone. And he will bring people we don't know. I, I call him uh, all the time that he was more ecumenical than all of us put together here. Because he had friends whom we, never, we will never bring to church. But Tando brought little friends you would never know. Some people you will never think they will come to church. But when Tando is concerned, you will see him coming with them. So may he rest in peace and I pray uh, that God be with him. Have you ever heard somebody dying on Good Friday? We, we preach, uh, we say that in our baptism, we die with Christ and we rise with him. May Tando rise with, with us, uh, uh, with him and us, because we are all destined there, isn't it? So let, let Tando rise with Christ, whom he served so well, without any problem. He had faults, yes. He acknowledged his mistakes and he will tell you what is he going to say. And he will tell me his problems at the end. He ask, what is the solution? I will always say, humble yourself and listen to what they say. If they don't condemn you, carry on. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Father Joshua. Uh, now we will call Father Philip Vietri uh, to speak for the oratory. Very often at funerals, one runs out of things to say and one has to talk about the personality and that of the person who, who has died. Because that's all we often have. In my case, I can tell you a lot about him, Father Tando as, as first of all my novice, then as my deacon, then as my curate when he became a priest. When he took over the parish of Plain School, 
in which I had worked all those years because of the hard work of Sister Noreen. Tando, I can tell you this, he was a model novice. He was, he was a man filled with love of God, and I mean that not just sentimentally, filled with love of God. And when he stood for me, with me in Clane School, I saw this, because you know he grew up in Clane School. And I'd hardly been there for a while, and he was busy organizing everyone. He had baptisms, he had weddings. When Corpus Christi came around, he told me to come half an hour later because he was organizing a procession. When he came to join us in Clane School, that parish came to life. And it continued to do so when he became a priest of tremendous pastoral love. He cared very much about his parishioners and his aim was to bring them closer to Jesus Christ. Now, that's a big thing to say, but he really worked hard on that. A real man of God. Um, there were some fun during the time. Uh, I'll just tell you one funny incident. We used to go after Mass every Sunday, and we'd either have Cassie's pies or we'd buy a hungry lion, because as Father um, Tando said, he liked hungry lion because there were lots of chips. And so we'd eat there. And the one time when I wasn't with him, when I got to my room, I saw that my hungry lion had gone into Stoopy's beddy. Well, the point of the story is to give him his credit. He wasn't angry. He laughed his head off. We got him some more lunch, but he thought it was the funniest thing that Snoopy had sneaked in and eaten his food. And that was the kind of kindliness he showed. Um, at Christmas, as the parishioners will tell you, uh, Lindsay, our fire chief in the parish, got us a big Christmas tree which we decorated, but he got the children. I don't know from where, but he did. He used to organize bread and in Green Acres. He was, but this wasn't just because he was nice. It was because he loved God. He was, a, in that sense, a very, very lovable man. And we were friends for many years in the oratory. And for me, Tundra's untimely passing was one of the saddest events of my life. Because after I came back from Limpentine, we used to meet quite often, usually over food. We both, as you see, people who like food. And it, this happened quite often. So when I heard this, I, I got an early SMS which said, Father Tundra has passed. And I, th I thought, the man isn't yet 40. Surely this isn't our Father Tundra. But it was our Father Tando. And today we take him reverently to God for burial and we commend him into God's hands. So, as far as, as I am concerned, <laughs> Tando Nyanawam Undon Zagalisil Kagendi Tringe into Yokuba, Nauku Bending Waba Wena, Bending Tringan Gue, Oya Kundin Waba Ngeklesha Eben Senza in Zela Yom Namles, and a Zanga Hokubana Bendi Vulela Winizel. A conto Taba, Hamba Uyo Pumla Undisye Nota Dubao. Sister Trasila, Enga Pilang, 
weke umtu busetu senyuka na hati dia bulela nangaleyo dia kubatina ke abantuana onde shie na abo utatuenu no sister wako unye no brother wako utiko ubonile maibe nguwe Oh, amba kukala kuna amu. Akuna ani, nyana wamu. Dia kukulula nga mazwi. Ati, unditilizi lenge nga zonke. Walungotula, itemba la amu, jengo umti. Dia kutembisa. Naguba chonga. Dine temba lukuba. Undishia no father. Pao kundi chonga. Pandini wabe. Pumla no mchuli. Pumla no naskatali. Pumla nisebeka zumbini. Ngozi. And it is a uh, Mr. Ndugwan Azos Bulele. Diabulela ko father, diabulela ko mama, diabulela ko priest, diabulela ko banja, diabulela ko banonga balapa from Limpopo, Malanga, Eastern Cape, Western Cape, Northern Cape, Northwest. Wonge mdola hapa, dia mbulela. O pasta, dia mbulela, oko besi tuene. Na izo, ono msebe zuwa nzile mkulu kiita. Besi mbopa manyo eba kubasenza kele. Eli ngwe bali nzulu. Si mkelwe ngumutu wa bantu. Insi ikaye kaya. Utando, maitie, 
Chokozela. May you soul rest in peace. So, the Abule Laguni no Onke Tilikaya, La Blotano, Muchana, Tano, Gum, Gumalu Mewake, the Amas, the Ben Wumtu Abant, and the Baba Tanda Bant, Nabandu Bem Tanda, and my personality. He had a very, very good disposition. Utan Ken the Abulela Uni Nonke Bando Batebas Basu Maza Apa Bal Yeka is Dozabo as Balek Leo Nyanam the Bazu Chetakaman and the Wambenga Kaisa Le Pasika Uchi Lok Satakanim Jonga Facebook Wati Pasika Itali He knew in Doba who <laughs> And the Bachong, I bekala lo u u asanda. God when that God, I know ba u tutu zeleki ilengoko. Kenga ba family ya mtaza. Wa tutu zeleka. Beninga shibuza kwa zu tetap. So na yenda mule la kenga ba anyame zele. Abe ngumtu ono kwa zu tacha indo zinzi mangu ba ngoku funeka ya zindo ba. Umama wake uchongwe na nguye. Bonga bando anafile ba mchongu mama wabo. So nda babule la kenga loo nba bakwazi na wabo uteta hapo. And this was a mate. Za ushie inda hao. Nko sika kuhu. Ya bule la wakulu. Bulela Bonga Banda was a room for no omni now. The Wutro was a la end of a cavern. Umni now is a room one. Umni now, build us a cut in. Utatum Kulanama Koskas a matat. I know Koskas a mamia, you call. I know Koskas a machis is a lutat of a strike. Young Luga Mako, Mawazala, Totama, Bini, no, 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 by four. Rogan and Glen Rugamaches, Lays, the Labandana, Yasek Nene, Utra, Yasek Nene, is a Lamato das Kang, Tata Indo Tessine, Lamato das Kang, Ken Sugano, the Bulela, the Bonga is so, as is the upper Guyan of Ninawam. Yam Fagan on your name, the Amas, the Tam Balovan, Abam Chul, Abad by a Banomum to Ganduli Kesa. I bet Nenovan, Tetra Banzi, Benendra Gator, Ban Banomum to Nobeke, and the Tan Lord, no mum to the Keke in Melian. Yabula cool Bonga Madola, and don't pull the Wicabalum to another no belly. When Obele and Yamas, Tetela Pass, and was not we separ, being with the petty snore. Eh, was not we separate cover. The petty snore, no one woman in the river. Sabatanda, our friend, one can look out long, I have been, but one must study. The fun did about turn up in. Don't trust in Tom Bendan was fun, then tell Mako Matanda. Mako went to Jum Sea, Yabula. Paga tunyo su Yesu Christu. Utek beng na paga ati. Eh mandi bulele ngen sebenzwa no yen. Eh klasi chis figelele kwe sis kabangu ku. 
So kwa sisi kukuwele lengonzo e yezi tete, kule lakubwa wonge e abantu abate e basi na abate ta e ukonje isas vosi one e kutolewe i phone e there's a phone e that has been found in the lady so in the toilet so whoever has lost the phone e must look for me and he will get or she will get the phone. Nancy akala langu I have it in my hand so you must come to me it's ringing and ringing and ringing eh and they ask ba as you people who are here you will join me at land city eh kumama akaxaba eh nodade bakhe eh nabathana bakhe eh nazo zonke izihlobo nezalamane eh ukuba sohlala sinabo sibacinga xa sithe sonke sashiwa uthando ngesaqube all I want to say Gun, is that uh, we are available uh, to you in any way possible as you face uh, this time or this journey uh, of grief. Ubu kubwa inuge, bubo na kali sa inzela, ebe ni mkabise ni mtanda nga ayo utando, e kwa nekalelo ate wanalo, e bumi ni beyu. So nga lo mazwi, e ntiti, ndi ya nibulela. Mshambi siya utita, e siti sa shugana hapo, mshambi, e noba siti si ya lila, e mshambi spinda siti bane, e noba siti zi group, nge groups, e mshambi si shali, katole ya gindu kubana, e ukona lo mtu nge koyo paratu kwetu. Ibe ingutano, msaamu simtu nge nje nge 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 Asli kisanga waka nge 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 Awa sifu msayona nge klesha apilayo So ngaluma azunamditi maga pumle ngotolo Pumlo olungu na pagate zumpolo na nguzi Maga pumle ngotolo Pumlo olungu na pagate zumpolo na nguzi Maga pumle ngotolo Upumlo olungu na parate uzumpelo na nguzi Maga pumle ngoko Mpefu mlo kata ando chokozela Na yonge mpefu mlo ya bakola ya utiko ma ipumle ngoko Nguzi Phone, mdola shakula iphone
on behalf of the Oratory, the Jokozela family, and the friends and family of Tando, we would like to welcome our bishop, uh, Bishop Vincent Mduduzi Zungu, as our main celebrant this morning. Uh, we thank you, in particularly those priests and uh, family members and friends who have traveled uh, many a kilometer to be here. Thank you for joining us as we come to say our final farewell and we come to pray for the repose of the soul of our brother Tando Jokozela. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Inkosi maibenani. God brought us together in a manner that was not planned and organized by us. We have come evidently to celebrate the vocation, the life, and the ministry of Father Tando Jogozela. We commend him back to God, the God that had given him to us as the gift in the life of the oratory here in the life of the church at large. Like Job, we are called to arise in faith and look to God and say, the Lord gave, the Lord has taken back. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Utiko ubespile lonya na wake ufather tando utiko usem tateleguye owe tu gogok bas bulele ikama ligatiko sibulele utiko ngesipo abes persona mas tategele lik esha sitting u mama sis tibani sekunye no tiko sis manye Enje ngabazalwana no dade sicele okokuba uthixo maka police amanxeba ethu sikhumbule nobomi buka Father Tando simbulele ngezipho zonke uthixo abeziphathiselwe nyana wakhe nje ngompriste siphinde futhi sizibuze okokuba ubuhlobo bethu kunye naye bebunjani xa kunezinto esizambambele zona ezinhlizweni zethu ixesha lokuba masizixolisele ezo zinto sizidlulise ukuze leli dini esimenyusela lona libe ngelifanelekile libe li dini esilenyusela uthixo eh ngoko moya kunye nangokwenyaniso With sorrow and a contrite heart, we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, in my thoughts and in my words, and in what I fail to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who gave us the Paschal mystery in the covenant you established for reconciling the human race, so dispose our minds, we pray, that what we celebrate by professing the faith, we may also express in our deeds. Pula pula ngobubele nkosi, imi tandazo esienze la usindiso lompefumulo ga tando chokozela isi kakasako esingum priste ugubayena uwaku sebenzela ngogu tembeki leyo apaesha batini avuiswe bubuteluano obungu napagate Naba zingwe le bako. Genkosi yetu ya so kresto unyana wako. Oteli elaula kunye nawe. Ni manyene no moya onwele. Uchiko ngo napagate ga napagate. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The priest and the captain of the temple guard and the Sadducees came up to Peter and John. And while they were speaking to the people, they were greatly disturbed because the apostles were teaching the people, proclaiming in Jesus the resurrection of the dead. They seized Peter and John, and because it was evening, they put them to jail. But many who heard the message believed, so the number of men who believed grew to about 5,000. The next day, the rulers, the elders, and the teachers of the law met in Jerusalem. Ananias, the high priest, was there, and so were Caiaphas, John, Alexander, and the others of the high priest's family. They had Peter and John brought before them and began to question them. By what power or what name did you do this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said to them, Rulers and elders of the people, if we are being called to account today for an act of kindness shown to a man who was lame and are being asked on how he was healed, then know this, you and all of Israel. It is by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, of Nazareth, whom you crucified, but whom God raised from the dead, that this man stands before you healed. Jesus is the stone you, the builders, rejected, which has now become the cornerstone. Salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name and a heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved. The word of the Lord.
Inkosi maibenani. Landela isifundo sevangeli engwele epalwe nguyo ane. Mwa koko, uyesu wapinda wazibona kalisa kubafundi bake Kakuluwa ndelo wa setiberia Kwa amba ngulu shobo ukuzibona kalisa kwake Usimon Petros na Thomas ekutiwa nguwele Na natanili wa sekana ekalili Kunye nonya na bagaze bedi Na banye abafundi ababini Babenda onye Waza wati kubo Simon Petros Disaya kuloba Baza bati kuye Nati so amba nao Bayeke bekwele isikichan Koto ababamba ngando ngobo usuku Ukutikapa kumsobo mfu Na kukumi uyesu elmwe meni Pofu wabafundi babenga kondi ukubangu yesu Watike ngoko uyesu kubo Anibambanga ntanzi bafan Bampendu ulabati Ay Waza wati kubo Pasanu mnatanga seku nene kweskichana no bamba ke Baoposa Bazange nga yobu ninzi Bentanzi Ababinako kutsala Umnata Kengoko Lomfundi ebetandu wangu Yesu wati ku Petros Yinkosi Usimon Petros Akuwa ukuba Yinkosi le Waziti uambu ngengubo Kuba waike dile, wacho wazi posa emanzini. Kebo na banya ya bafundi, baya ilungo meni nga sikichana. Wakuka unata, uzele zintanzi. Kwa kumalunga ni mita ezi likulu kuya ilungo meni. Wakuta sikichaneni. Babona umlilo wa malate Kuko intanzi kuo kwa nesonga Wati kubo uyesu Kanize ne intanzi kwezi nisanda wa guzibamba Usimon Petros wakwela eskicha neni Wakwela ilmwa meni umnata Uzele zi intanzi ezi nkulu Zili kulu wele na mashumi ama tanu anandatu zizo onke Nango na zazi ninzi kwa ngoko umnata wa ukaukeka anga Waza wati kubo uyesu Izani kutia Akupanga kona mnye kubafundi ube na nobunganga bukuti Ungubani wena Kaluku bebe sazu kubayi nkosi Wasondela u Yesu Wasitata isonga wabanika Watata nentanzi wabanika Oku kuzibona kalisa kuka Yesu kubafundi bake Kwa kukwa wasitatu Emfa kukuvuka kwa ke ekufeni Evangeli yengosi
Sometimes in performing our duties or conducting our rituals of faith, we can simply go through the emotions, not realizing that a deeper, mysterious plan of God is unfolding at that very moment. At almost this very hour, a week ago, Stations of the Cross were being devoutly celebrated all around the world. Mama Jogozello herself was devoutly praying the Stations of the Cross last Friday. Yet, unbeknownst to her, she was sharing in a mysterious way the path that our Mother Mary trod as she followed her son, our Lord Jesus Christ, on his way to Calvary. As Mary's heart was pierced on that first Good Friday, so Mama Jokazella shared in the pain of Mary as her son, Father Tando, breathed his last on this last Good Friday. It is often said that God's ways are mysterious. Isaiah 55 has God proclaiming through the prophet, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor neither are my ways your ways. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so my ways are higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. These words are very easy to read, to say, but excruciatingly difficult to experience. For the friends, family, and confreres of Father Tando, these are indeed difficult and painful times. It feels as if we have entered the tomb, the darkness, with our Lord Jesus. It is as if the darkness of Calvary has enveloped us too. Father Tando, a priest so young, so full of energy, having just celebrated his 38th birthday in February, a man full of plans for his ministry and for his family. Dear brothers and sisters, God's thoughts clearly are not our thoughts. Neither are our ways always God's ways. In today's first reading, St. Peter and St. John are arrested for performing a healing in Jesus' name. I am sure they pondered deeply why they should suffer for doing something good. Was God punishing them? Was God even in control? Why did God not deliver them from that pain? Why did God not protect them? In hindsight, the disciples came to understand that all the persecutions they endured, all the injustices and trials they had to face, these were part of God's plan for the message of salvation to reach the ends of the earth. It was through their suffering and example that multitudes became followers of Jesus Christ. And in the process, one eternal glory, both for themselves and for their God. However, in the midst of one's pain, a pain that we are feeling today, in enduring the moment of the trial, God's plan, God's ways, can be hidden from our sight. As Christians, these are the moments when our faith is tested, as gold in a furnace. And if we persevere, we will win the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to you and to me on the day of judgment. As a priest, Father Tando would have recited in his divine office these prayers. I said, in the middle of my days, I must depart. I am consigned to the gates of Sheol for the rest of my years. Our brother has been called from this life, departed too soon and too suddenly. Where shall we look for comfort? To whom shall we go for consolation? Father Tando conducted many funerals, and I am sure that this teaching from Wisdom Chapter 3 would have been a favorite passage for him. 
In the eyes of the foolish, they seemed to have died, and their departure was thought to be a disaster, and their going from us to be their destruction. But they are at peace. We are not a foolish people. We are a people of faith, a people who believe in a God of mysterious ways, who transforms the catastrophe of death into the glory of the resurrection. It is certainly our prayer that Father Tando is now at peace. It is our prayer also that those who remain in this valley of tears may be granted peace and consolation by our God. In life, as we heard this morning, as us who know him will testify, his life was not without struggles. At many times, events and people disturbed his peace. Tando began his formation with the Dominicans, particularly under the very watchful eye of Sister Noreen and Monsignor Clark. He was enrolled at the St. Philip Neri Collegium in 2005 and came under the guidance of the Oratorians. The very same year, I began my novitiate here. In a sense, we began our journey to priesthood together. He was then sent by Bishop Coleman to the Cape Town Diocesan Seminary from 2006, and he soon became great friends with people like Ken Jones, Vickers Barnard, Tommy Matula, Lindella Becchia, and others. Thus, it was a great trial for Tando when a few years later he was separated from his classmates when he was asked to take a little bit of time out. Yet this setback did not keep him down for long. And much to our surprise and, and, and joy, we were soon hearing stories of Tando telling us how great it was to be a fireman. He was recording how we would be sit in the truck and put the alarms on. A few years later, he applied and joined the oratory. And I remember driving with him and Father Philip to Roma in Lesotho to discover for him to be able to choose which seminary he would go to. And Father Tandor didn't choose his seminary by the library or the computers. He chose the seminary because he believed that he wanted to be with the people there, that he would be at home. Very soon after returning from Roma on our way home, we were almost arrested at the border post because we didn't have our passport stamped on the way into Lesotho. However, we returned safely home. On completion of his studies, Tanda was ordained priest and ministered at his beloved Clain School Parish. God had a plan that brought him full circle. He began his priestly pilgrimage where he uh, began it with Sister Noreen. Despite the many challenges posed, Brother Tando fought the good fight. He finished the race, he kept the faith, and he was ordained priest. When things did not go his way, Tando was f fond of saying, goodness gracious. <laughs> and even in the oratory, he had a few struggles. He was ordained priest, and, and at that occasion, Father Michael was ordained uh, deacon, and Father Michael sends his apologies, he can't be here. And we all lived in the same corridor, and Father Michael, he still has got a very small little fluffy cat, and this cat knew that Father Tando was not so fond of cats. <laughs> and I lived at the end of the corridor, and then Father Michael, and then Father Tando, and sometimes we'd hear of a night time, shh, 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 <laughs> For the tundra was at the one side of the corridor and the cat was sitting outside his bedroom. It got even worse if Father Tando left his door open. Because this little cat would creep under the bed and we'd hear of a night time these screams because the cat emerged um, when he had closed his door to torment Father Tando. <laughs> but despite his battle with Einstein, the little cat, 
He was always gentle with this beast. And he always laughed about his struggles with Einstein. Such was the measure of the man. Despite the ups and downs of life, Father Tando remained compassionate and joyful, loyal to the utmost degree to his friends and firm in his faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. Father Tando was by no means perfect. At times he let himself and others down. But certainly he was also known for his aerobic sacrifice. In recent days, Father Henry reminded me of the time when Father Tando used to love to go to the beach. He went to the beach one winter and there was a child drowning in the sea. And in the midst of winter, he took off his clothes and he bravely went and saved that child. When the family asked how they could reward him, he refused any gifts from the family and he forbade them to put his name in the newspapers. He simply said, say that a Catholic priest saved your child. He was displaying the true oratorian charism of a love to be unknown. Father Tando also sacrificed greatly for his family, becoming a master builder and renovator in the process. One of the burdens a priest carries is the expectation to be perfect. Sometimes other, others impose that expectation on us, while at times we place that cross on our own shoulders. This certainly was a struggle for Father Tandu. Yet as we lay our brother to rest today, today's first reading clearly reminds each of us that we are not saved by our being perfect. As St. Peter tells his audience, it was by the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazarene, the one you crucified, whom God raised from the dead, by this name and by no other, that this man is able to stand up perfectly healthy. For of all the names in the world given to men, this is the only one by which we can be saved. Father Tandor demonstrated a consistent faith in our Lord Jesus, and it is in him, our Lord, that we place our sure hope of salvation. Our Lord chose imperfect disciples to found his church. He continues to choose imperfect priests to continue his saving presence on earth. In today's gospel, we hear St. Peter saying, I am going fishing. In Peter's human imperfection, he returns to his former way of life. But, God, but he finds no success there. In fact, he experiences complete failure. It's into that condition of failure that our Lord appears to his disciples and reveals himself resurrected from the dead. It was at a charcoal fire that Peter denied Jesus. It was at a charcoal fire that Peter's faith and ministry is restored by the resurrected Christ's. As priests, we must do our utmost to be faithful to our calling, to be humble servants of the flock of Jesus Christ, to be an alter Christus to a world that so often rejects Christ over and over. We may feel that we are not up to this task, that we are frail and weak. The words of Christ ring out again this Easter, do not be afraid. We have a Lord and Master who uses even our weakness, and at times our ministry is most effective in our weakness and in our brokenness. For that is when the power of Christ shines most brightly in our lives. In closing, as we grapple to, to make sense of a life cut short, in the eyes of, of, a world, of the world, uh, lacking sometimes in understanding, I would like to share a meditation from the uh, saint of, of the oratory, St. John Henry Newman, that captures so beautifully the mysterious workings of God in our lives. God has created me to do him some definite service. 
He has committed some work to me which he has not committed to another. I have my mission. I never know it, I may never know it in this life, but I shall be told it in the next. Sometimes I am necessary for his purposes, as necessary in my place as an archangel in his. If indeed I fail, he can raise another, as he could make the stones of Abraham, as he could make stones children of Abraham. I have a part in this great work. I am a link in a chain, a bond of connection between persons. He has not created me for nothing. I shall do good. I shall do his work. I shall be an angel of peace, a preacher of truth in my own place, while not intending it, if I but keep his commandments and serve him in my calling. I think these words, in a true and deep way, sum up what we believe about Father Tando. God had created him to do him some definite service. He has done that service, and we now commend his soul to God that he may rest in peace. Fundisi wetu hlegazi qaba hlobo wethu uthando ushishiya namhlanje sinenhliziyo ezibhlungu iqasha lakho nathi apha emhlabeni liphelile ngoku liqasha lakho ukudlula uye kubawo lemini isiqubulile sacenga ubawo Makapum no colo, kuny no sister no rin wake. Satembo kuba, sisa kubona, sisa kukubona kwa kona. Kau tando luka kriste, ulo yise zongi izinto. Luchabada zisa, kwanukufa, kwa kwa go kwa ko. Amen.
Tanda zani bazalwana ukuba iti ni lam nele nu lam gelege kutiko ona mancha onke. Perfect within us, O Lord, we pray the solemn exchange brought about by these paschal offerings that we may be drawn from earthly desires to a longing for the things of heaven. Ngenebaya konkosi sitela ukuba ngele dini logu gukonza nesi tandazelangalo umpefumlo ka tando jogo zela istaka sako esingu mpriste atolelwe izono zake Yena ngechuba esela pa emshabeni wani gela guwe ngechone lo iti ni ebanjeni lako ngo krestu ingo sietu. The Lord be with you. Give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day, above all to loud you yet more gloriously when Christ our post Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death and by rising restored our life. And so overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Eucharistic prayer. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise, for through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. 
Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said a blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Wango kunjalo emva kukuba kuchiwe Watabata indebe ekubulela Waisigelela wainika abafundibake esiti Tabatani nisele kuyononke Le indebe ye kazilam I kazilo mkopiso omcha ungu na pakate Eliza kupada zelwa nina naba ninzi Ukuze kukolelwe izono Uku kwenzeleni ukundi kumbu Shakalo yokolo, therefore, O oh Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all your saints, on this constant intercession in your presence, we rely for your unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Vincent our Bishop the order of bishops, all the clergy and entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion and merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servant Tanto, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection, when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom, that we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes, 
for seeing you, our God, as you are. We will be like you for all the ages and praise you without end. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. As command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to pray. Apostolo ba kundi nishi ano kolo ndi nini ga ukolo luam uzunga kangeli zono zetu koko ukangele ukolo lwe bandalako uze uli nige ukolo nubunye ngogwe ntando yako wena usheli ula ula ngona pagate gana pagate Amen Ukolo lwengosi malube nani ama tasha onke Amen As we commend our brother 
priest, uh, Father Tando, let us share with each other in a manner that avoids conduct the sign of peace and Christ love. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection. Amen. Brothers and sisters, after the completion of this Requiem Mass, all are invited to accompany us as we go to the graveyard at St. Dominic's Priory. I would ask that as we drive to school, at the school, it will be the time when the children are coming out. If we could just drive slowly, don't park where the parents are picking up their children. Progress up towards the main building and you'll be directed to park on the grass just in front of the main building. There is limited parking for people who struggle to walk near the, the graveside, about 20 cars. Just tell the security that you need to park nearer. Please don't drive into the graves. There's only space for the hearse and for the family car. You, you will cause a traffic jam and you'll not be able to get out. Refreshments will be served at the school, in the school hall, after um, the service at the gravesite. Mazalo no dade, enva go oliti, pele go oliti ni, wongu umdu menu me guba osi kape, siye ema ngwabeni e priori school. Kas figa pa, sa figa kwa li kaya logo puma kwa bandwane school we. Siya kwe lo guba ninga mi seza ansi, kulanda go kola abandwane go du nikaite, Security security just before we come to the final commendation, I just want to actually uh, share some a message and of support to the family basically um, one of the things that I shared with the uh, the people of East London was just the fact that actually Father Tando um, was my first born son in the sense that he was a first priest that I ordained here having been appointed bishop uh, so therefore there is a very a close connection that existed between us and I dare share my recollections of him a young priest very vital and uh, full of life and basically he lived his life to the fullest extent possible um, a person when I listened to the gospel today, who would almost have been along the beach side celebrating as it were. Um, and that was part and parcel of a person he was. 
I happened to say to the bishops, I sent them a little WhatsApp message, and I said to them that for us here, the passion, the death, and, you know, the resurrection of Christ has been real uh, because basically we happened to lose a priest on Good Friday. I mean, uh, so in a sense, there were many messages of support that came from uh, the bishops. Um, actually, many of them would have not known Tando in person or Father Tando in person, but um, they had known him through his postings on Facebook. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, and few times, um, Archbishop uh, Tabula Mpago, uh, of course, that is the diocese where uh, Tando would have been born and grew up. And, you know, he kept asking from time to time, you know, where is that priest of yours? And I would mention few priests and he would say, no. And then, and I would say, uh, you mean uh, Father Tando Jogozela? And he says, yes, 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 you know. Uh, have you ever actually spoken to him about some of his uh, things that he posts on Facebook, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and, and, and then, I was then a bit curious. I said, look, let me actually go on this Facebook account of this priest of mine, you know? And um, Pichov, uh, basically, um, one thing was, I said to myself, what do you say to Father Tando about this as a bishop? Basically, you know, some, I think he was very authentic to himself and his life here, celebrating Mass and whatever, being part of the occasion, would certainly be posted. But if he was celebrating even by the beachside with friends and so forth, in fact, he also posted that so much that, in fact, there was no dichotomy. Um, you know, there, there wasn't really, um, I would say, uh, between uh, the, the saintly and profane in our categories for him, God was present in all these instances and occasions, and he felt he would want to share his whole life with the whole world. So in a sense, in the end, it highlighted his kind of spirit of giving of himself. Um, he had not really gathered a lot in terms of, um, you know, accumulating things in in, in, in his life as a priest, yet he was such a generous soul who kept giving, who kept giving, to such an extent that I believe almost anyone who uh, wrapped his life with, with Father Tando, he would have something to keep as a souvenir, and that's the sign of his generosity. Uh, he gave me a red chasuble, and he said, Bishop, I think you are short of these red chasuble, and I see you going around uh, confirming, and I would like to give you this one. And I was hesitant, and I was saying, here is a young priest, and you know, I don't think he has too many of those chasubles, but he wants to share this with me. What do I do? Do I take it? Oh, I say no. And, and I said, look, he found joy in giving, from the very little he had, so I actually took it kindly and said thank you. But as I say, uh, we are to be consoled. Usapo lawacho gozela tutuzelekani a o bishopu kunye naba priste bonke apa. Bayanet Bayanitandazisa, Bayanitandazela, Siazi Ogoguba, Utando, Usenda, Weni, 
egatiko utiko abemlungselele yona e, ube ngumtu obe lungselela ugungena kuita au sisi ngoku peleleyo e, kotwa ke e, siyabona ugokba utiko ube mlungselela ikaya elingono kuna wawonke ama kaya e, ukuba magashale apumule kunye naye uh, umpefumlo ka father jogozela tando ne mipefumlo ya bobonke ngetahu katiko maipumule ngotolo As I now do the final commendation, I'd like to assure you, the loved ones of Father Tondo, the clergy, the congregation present here today, and those participating in this Requiem Mass live stream, that Father Tondo was deeply loved in East London, the communities where he served with Father Peter and I. And we are deeply saddened by his unexpected death. Let us pray. Trusting in God, we have prayed together for our brother Tondo. We come now to the last farewell. There is sadness in parting, but we take comfort in the hope that one day we shall see Tando again and enjoy his friendship. Although this congregation will disperse in sorrow, the mercy of God will gather us together again in the joy of his kingdom. Therefore, let us console one another in the faith we have in our Lord Jesus Christ.
Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother Tondo in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you have bestowed upon Tondo in this life. They are signs of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn towards us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant Tanto and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurance of faith until we all meet in Christ and are one with you and our brother Tondo forever. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. In peace, let us take our brother Tondo to his place of rest. <laughs> 